topic for today is operation of decimals. Okay, so first is addition and subtraction of decimals. Decimals are added and subtracted in the same way as the whole numbers. When two decimals are added together or subtracted, the decimal point must be vertically aligned and the digit must be written in the correct value columns. Example, what is the sum of 879.48 plus 53.5 and 89? So we have to align, don't forget to align the numbers and then fill in with zero points should be aligned and then add. So 879.48 plus 53.50 plus 89.00 is equals to 1000. 21.98 Okay Next, example number 2 Find the difference between 349 and 24.653 Okay So we have to align and fill in the empty space with zeros Okay and then subtract from left to right, column by column. But first, since um, we have 349.000, we have to borrow. So, borrow 1 from 9, it will be 8. The next number will be 10. Borrow 1 again, it will be 9. The next number will be 10, and then you have to borrow it again. Uh, the number would be 9. And the last number is 10. Now, 10 minus 3, 9 minus 5, 9 minus 6, and 8 minus 4. So the final answer is 324.300, uh, 324.347. And the point should be aligned. So that's our final answer. Next, multiplication of decimals. Multiplying decimals is the same with multiplying whole numbers. Place the decimal point in the product such that the number of decimal places in the product is the same as the total number of decimal places in the factors. Okay, example, find the product of the following. A, 8.46 times 5. B, 23.85 times 3.5 and C is 2.3 times 6.5 times 8.2 Okay, let's do the letter A So, 8.46 times 5 Okay, so it's 42.30 How do we get that? First, 8.46 has two decimal places, while 5 has zero decimal places, so our to total decimal places are 2. So therefore, the answer should move the decimal place to 2. Okay, 1, 2. So that is the two decimal places. Therefore, the product is 42.30. Next. Number 2, 23.85 times 3.5. So 23.85 times 3.5. Okay, first the 5. And then we multiply the 3. If we add the answer, we have 83.475. How do we get 83.475? first number is we have two decimal places. The second is one decimal place. So the total pla the decimal places is uh, are three. One, two, and three. 
three decimal places. Therefore, the product is 83.475. Next solution for letter C. So we have three numbers to multiply. So 2.3, 6.5, and 8.2. Step one is we multiply the first two numbers, which is 2.3 and 6.5. And then step 2 is the answer from step 1 multiplied by 8.2. Okay, let's solve for step 1. Step 1, 2.3 times 6.5. Okay, 5 times 3, 15. So 2 times 5, 10. So the answer is 115. Next, 6.3, 18. 6.2, 12 plus 1 is 138. So we add... We have 14.95. Again, one decimal place, another one decimal place, so we have two decimal places. So one, two, so that's our final answer. Therefore, the product of step one is 14.95. Okay, let's continue. So we have the answer from step 1, which is 14.95. Now, we solve for step 2. So, to get the final answer. Okay, step 2 is 14.95 times 8.2. Okay, so 14.95 times 8.2. So we have... 2 multiplied by 14.95, we have 2.990, and then 8 times 14.95 is 11960. So we add, we have 122.590. Again, for first number, we have two decimal places. Second number, we have one. So the total decimal places to move is three places. So 1, 2, and 3. So that's how we get 122.590. Therefore, the product is 122.590. Next, multiplication of decimals by power of 10. Okay, the number of decimal places in the product is the sum of number of decimal places in the factors. Example, find the product of the following. 3.76 times 10. 89.769 times 100. 4.657 times 1,000. And 6.97 times 10,000. Okay, so first, letter A, we have 3.76 times 10. Okay, so we have 1, 0. So, if we have 1, 0, we move the decimal point to the right. So, the answer will be 37.6. So since we have one zero, we just move the decimal point once. Next. 89.769 times 100. How many zero do we have? One and two. Therefore, we have to move the point twice to the right. So one and two. Therefore, our answer is 8,976.9. Next, 4.657 times 1,000. So, how many zero again? 1, 2, and 3. Therefore, we move the decimal point twice to the right. So, 1, 2, and 3. Therefore, our answer is 4,657. Okay, 
And the last example is 6.79 times 10,000. Again, how many zero? 1, 2, 3, and 4. So me, we move the decimal point 4 times to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can see, there is no number. So automatic, we add to 0. So our answer is 69,700. Okay, when we multiply a decimal by a power of 10, we simply move the decimal point to the right to as many places as the number of zeros in the power of 10. Multiplication of decimals by 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001. Okay, when we multiply a decimal by 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001, we move the decimal point to the 1, 2, or 3 places. This time, to the left to find the product. So, if we multiply by 10, we move to the right. But if we multiply it by 0 0.1, we move to the left. Example. Eight, we multiply 85.7 by 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001. Okay, first, 85.7 times 0 0.1. So from 1, we have 1 place. So we move the decimal place to the left. Once, so our final answer is 8.57. Second is 85.7 times 0 0.01. So we have 1 and 2, two places. So 85.7, we move the decimal point to the left twice, 1 and 2. So our answer is 0 0.857. Next is 85.7 times 0 0.001. This time, we have 1, 2, and 3. So, 85.7. We move the decimal point twice. 1, 2, and 3. Since there is no number, we add 0. So, our final answer is 0 0.0857. Okay, so what's next? Let us test your mind, okay? I know you can do this. So, find the product mentally. So, try to solve this problem without using a pencil and paper. I, as I taught you, uh, in multiplication, just move the decimal point to the right. If multiplied by 10, and if multiplied by 0 0.1, move the decimal place to the left. Thanks for watching. This is Teacher Gay. I hope you learned from our lesson for today. Uh, okay, thank you. Bye.